Jennifer Lopez reveals meaning behind new song, Hummingbird. Jennifer Lopez is gearing up to release new music and now she is diving into the meaning of her upcoming song, Hummingbird. In her latest on the JLo newsletter, she said, I wrote a song called, Hummingbird, for my new album. To me, hummingbirds are messengers of love. They're very agile can fly forward, backward, and up and down. They're also the fastest bird but they always have time to stop, eat something sweet and smell the roses. I identify with them, but more than anything, whenever I see one, I feel like it's a sign from God that everything is going to be okay," she continued. However, the hummingbirds also gave her more inspiration, as in, helping her to decide what theme to do for the holidays this year. I wanted to have a tree in the house that was a hummingbird tree, reminding us that everything done in love and with love will always be okay," she said. As for the song, Hummingbird, the track is set to appearing on Lopez's upcoming album This Is Me. Now, the album is a nod to one of her previous bodes of work, This Is Me. Then, released in 2002, This Is Me. Then spawned some of Lopez's most iconic songs like, All I Have, and, Jenny from the Block. It is worth noting that a release date for This Is Me. Now has not been announced at this time, nor has a lead single been chosen. However, Hummingbird did make the cut and sits at no. 8 on the album's tracklist. Others staked a claim to the title, but Avril Lavigne reminded the world that she is the true pop-punk princess with the unveiling of Love Sucks. While 2019's Head Above Water highlighted her chameleon-like ability to adapt to various genres, her latest release after signing to Travis Barker's DTA Records signifies a full-fledged return to her plucky punk roots. Opening track, Cannonball, crashes onto the sound sphere with rollicking production, and collaborations with the likes of Tormate Machine Gun Kelly, Walai, and Black Bear. Love It When You Hate Me, both add more edge and an update on Levine's signature sound. It's a throwback to the sonics of 2002's Let Go, but songs such as Tender Ballad, Dare to Love Me, highlight how Levine's artistry has evolved since her debut. She's wiser, tempered but still more than capable of unleashing all sorts of attitudes. Mike Need. That's how we present this content, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. For the support of our viewers, thank you.